the more I'm removed from the game, the more I really, 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 really get t sick and tired of seeing the slander on Jalen Hurts. I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want people coming at me saying that he can't make the throws, that he has no arm, that he's not a good leader, that he's not the guy. If you take him and put in little trash can Kenny Pickett and you flip it around and you have him start this game, we lose this game 22 to set uh, to 7. That's all that that's it. Quite quite frankly, the only reason we get 7 is cuz Saquon Barkley can run the football. I don't want to hear anything about the way that Jalen Hurts played because this game from a coaching standpoint was atrocious. The penalties were not in favor of the Eagles. The the discipline in turn was awful. No Buddy should be blaming Hurts for how this game was called by the play callers. The offensive scheme that was brought up for this game by Kellen Moore and Nick Sirianni was garbage. And this is the conversation that we're having again like we did last year when it was Brian Johnson. We haven't had this problem since Shane Steichen left. This is the problem. You can't trust Nick Sirianni and clearly the play calling isn't quite there yet. I have faith in Kellen Moore, but I can't say the same about Nick Sirianni and I can't say the same about Vic Fangio and this prevent defense that we have because my God, you make the fourth and one stop, Saquon drops the ball, yeah, that sucks. But the defense lets Kirk Cousins on one leg, a statue, can't get pressure on him, lets him carve us up for five plays, 70 yards, and makes it look so easy the whole game he was struggling our coverage was actually pretty solid we weren't able to stop the run but we made critical third down stops forced field goals we were doing everything right Hertz had a clean game was making plays with his feet when he needed to threw the ball to Devonte, to got to goddard everybody and when it mattered most the defense crumbles and you throw Hurts out there with 30 seconds and two timeouts, yeah. I've seen teams with three timeouts in 50 seconds and not win a game. It's not that uncommon. Look at Lamar Jackson. He's the king of it, and y'all love him. So I don't want to be hearing anything from Jalen Hurts. This was one of his best games since last year. With the way that he played, the numbers might not give it all to you, but listen, he played a smart, good football game until the last 30 seconds when he f was forcing balls down the field because there was no one open and he had no time. He was If you watch the play back, he throws that ball two seconds before he gets popped by most likely uh, Matthew Judon. So I don't want to hear anything about Jalen Hurts and the slander that he is going to be getting. He'll take accountability as he absolutely should as the leader of the team. We know Saquon has already taken responsibility, but I know for a fact that guys like Nick Sirianni and Vic Fangio, they're not going to say anything that we want to hear because they're not going to take the accountability. They're never going to take it, especially Nick Sirianni. He's not going to take it. Now, this defense is probably the biggest issue we have right now, not being able to generate pass rush whatsoever. Bryce Huff and Josh Sweat are some of the... And Jordan Davis, Nolan Smith, some of the worst rushing attacks I've ever seen. They cannot generate any sort of pressure. And that's what's going to scare me the most moving into the next two weeks as we play the rest of the NFC South. AJ will come back and the Eagles might be able to bail out their defense with their offense. They're probably going to have to, no matter what, if they want to make a run this year. And because of that, because of that alone... I don't want to hear any slander about anyone on this offense. Not even Saquon for dropping that ball. Yeah, he sold. He dropped it. He got butterfingers there. But guess what? Your defense didn't pick you up. Your defense did not pick you up. The Falcons have no timeouts. You make one tackle in bounds. You keep it in front. You do not let anything go up the top. And what do they do? They sat back in their prevent defense, sitting in their zones, and let Kirk Cousins pick us apart. And that right there falls onto the coaches. And that's why I'm looking at Vic Fangio and Nick Sirianni because their halftime, um, the, the changes they made at halftime, their halftime adjustments were horrible. They did not do enough because the running game killed us even more in the second half. And that is the difference right there. Not 
not Jalen Hurts throwing in, an interception at the end of the game. Not Saquon dropping a pass when we should have ran it. The defense didn't come clutch at the end of the day. And play calling was horrible. That's the fact of the matter. And it's got to get better if the Eagles want to really make a run. If they really believe that this team can do it. Which at this point I think we can all agree we're at least a year out. Because this defense it just ain't it. This offense might be able to come together in a week or two. But this defense, we got problems.